and cheated on his wife. Peter is a murderer. He massacred anyone whom he didn't agree with, and he murdered his own son. Even his wife was tortured. Clearly, a man who has little regard for human life should not be given the reins to a country. Elizabeth is responsible for the death of a woman and covered it up by saying she fell down the stairs. Her bad childhood has led her to be emotionally unstable, and she has trouble controlling her anger. On top of this, she is conceited and is not faced by the important issues within America. Elizabeth I got away with murder. Do not let her get away with winning this election. William and Mary's marriage is similar to that of Bill and Hillary Clinton. They married for political reasons and are obsessed with power. William had an affair with one of Mary's ladies in England. He cannot be loyal to his own wife, but he clearly cannot be loyal to our country. Hillary Clinton cannot be trusted to run our country. She has been caught illegally sending and receiving emails that were crucial to the government on her private email account. How can we elect someone when there is so much about them that is unknown? Hillary Clinton is secretive and manipulative. She cannot be elected. He is not just unprepared. He is temperamentally unfit to hold an office that requires knowledge, stability, and immense responsibility. I, I, I don't want a nice, I want to kill her. We're tired of the nice people. Donald Trump is not mature enough and does not have enough self-control to run a country, let alone negotiate with foreign leaders. How can we let someone run a country when we do not know if they are honest, moral, or even sane? He has made so many comments that downgrade women, go against religions, and overall just comments that are absurd. His incredible temper and lack of governmental experience will have ruined our country if he's elected. This election has one candidate who will make our country amazing. Clearly, Catherine the Great is the best. She will lead our country to success, just as she led Russia to success. It's a shame that she can only lead for eight years here. Just imagine how great our country would be if she had 34, just as she did in Russia. Catherine the Great educated my children when I had no other way to get them educated. I owe her everything and more. She, she has my vote. I'm Catherine the Great, and I approve this message.